With clearance from the FDA, here come non-prescription hearing aids. Welcome to Textination. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Lucid Hearing is Executive Vice President of Research and Development, Bennett Griffin. Hi, Bennett. Good morning, Fred. Good morning. Well, tell us some background, first of all, about the company. You are not new to this business. That's true. Lucid Hearing's been around for a little over a dozen years now, and we've been in the business of helping people hear better for that entire time. And our history is really in the prescription hearing aid space. So we've been designing, manufacturing, uh, delivering, and servicing hearing aids for folks uh, through a network of clinics that we have, uh, a little over 500 across the U.S. And uh, we also help folks in uh, China and in Latin America as well. And with that background in hearing health, uh, we are very excited with the, the new frontiers that are opening with the recent FDA final rule for over-the-counter hearing aids as well. So what should people know uh, about this and what it's going to mean for consumers from your perspective? Well, really what it, it's going to mean is it's going to be a broadening of choice and a broadening of availability for tools and products and technologies that can help people with their hearing health. So you know, historically and up to, to, to really uh, what will be the, the, uh, the new beginning in October, uh, hearing aids are prescription medical devices. They require you to uh, visit a clinic um, or a, a doctor, and there is a personalization process where those hearing aids are fit to your loss. And for many, many Americans, that's still going to be the best way to get a hearing aid because that particular path provides you with a you know, the ability to test your hearing in a, in a clinical setting and to get that hearing aid tuned to exactly what you need. But for many Americans, especially those with a mild or more moderate hearing loss, uh, there's an easier way now with over-the-counter. And so there will be a new frontier, a new uh, catalog of products, if you will, that will be available at places you know, like a pharmacy or like a Best Buy, where you can approach your hearing health needs in more of a do-it-yourself kind of fashion and find a product that works for you right off the shelf. Take it home, try it out. And we believe that's going to you know, open the, the doorway to hearing health for many, many Americans that up to now, either because of uh, you know, just cost or uh, convenience, they haven't uh, taken that step yet. The majority of people, if I'm not mistaken, maybe two thirds of the people who, who probably could use help haven't gotten it, right? That is exactly right. Hearing health is an interesting uh, segment of just our overall health as Americans and as, as citizens of the world, it's often not addressed. And so the number of people who need hearing health is substantially more than those who have received hearing health care. So uh, we believe over the counter and the new generation of products are going to help us meet people earlier in that hearing health journey. And, and quite honestly, um, the earlier you get uh, hearing health assistance, the better your quality of life is. And, and hearing is an interesting, an interesting area for where it's actually the third most common chronic condition, according to the CDC, more prevalent than uh, diabetes or cancer. And yet it's often, and for the majority of, of folks, unaddressed. Part of that is insurance, perhaps, uh, or the lack thereof. Um, and uh, there are other issues, too. The, the stigma attached to being seen wearing a a hearing aid, that kind of thing, and uh, perhaps the lowering the cost here, and there will be new designs as well, I think, right, to, that may help with all of these issues. Absolutely. I think uh, part of what Over the Counter brings in is this continuation of, of a trend that uh, had already begun, but uh, an acceleration of this blending of consumer electronics and medical devices, and these are, you know, wearable devices. Some people will will wear them uh, more situationally as you know, in certain situations where they might need that extra help. Other folks will, will be uh, more like a, a traditional hearing aid user that would wear them from you know, dawn to dusk all day long. And there will be products that satisfy you know, both of those types of, uh, of customers and types of needs. What does it mean for a company like yours when you're going to be facing, are facing, this new competition from consumer electronics companies who've been known perhaps for uh, earphones, headphones, that kind of thing, who are moving into the space as well. 
Sure, I think that's actually one of the you know the goals the FDA had was to you know to broaden that that competition. So for you know a company like ours, you know we we are excited and welcome that because it's it's all to the benefit of the customer and the consumer. And so as we continue to build new products and design new products, and as our competitors do that, you know that. Uh, natural competition, uh, you know, forces all of us to be our best, and the winner really is the customer. So we're excited about uh, the opportunities that this brings to us and to the others in the industry. Tell us about some of the products that you will have on the market in the, in this category. Typically, what the costs might be, and and uh, what what consumers should know. Absolutely. Well, first thing consumers should know is that true over the counter hearing aids will still be regulated medical devices. And so that's a good thing for the customer. Um, it also means that you want to make sure that the packaging says OTC hearing aid, because if it doesn't say that, it's not actually a medical device. So we believe that there'll be products that are um, in a form factor that's similar to what the majority of hearing aids uh, are today, which is a behind the ear form factor with a speaker that then is inserted in the ear with a little, tiny little wire um, those provide um, excellent sound clarity and they're comfortable for all day use and they have all day battery life as well. There also will be products that are more in the ear products. So they will look more like a, uh, an earbud or a consumer electronics product. Um, some of those will have, um, again, all day battery life. Others of those will be more situational, will be intended to use for a few hours and then they'll need to be charged. So customers will want to make sure they're looking at, you know, the the way the product uh, is worn, uh, they'll want to verify it is an OTC hearing aid um, and not just an amplifier that simply makes everything louder. And they'll want to consider how do they want to use the product? You know, is this something they'll they'll be using at a restaurant or in a, you know in a, in a large venue when they need some additional help, or is this something they really intend uh, to wear all day long? In which case, comfort and battery life are really going to be two of the the key features that people want to make sure they're looking at. Can you tell us anything about the price range we can expect? We believe that the you know the, the price range is going to primarily be in that three hundred to a thousand dollar range. So you'll see some products, you know, entry level products in that three to five hundred dollar range. That'll be uh, you know especially good for those situational users. And then the more deluxe products, the ones that really bring in features like you know, streaming audio and all day battery life and the ability to uh, you know to to adjust the, the hearing aids with a Bluetooth connected app on a smartphone, those will tend to be in that higher price band, uh, closer to you know, $750 to $1,250. And I, I suppose there's going to be an educational process that, that the industry overall is going to have to undertake here when it comes to addressing consumers. For sure. And again, there's a, you know, it's a great opportunity for people to be able to help themselves, kind of a do-it-yourself uh, approach. Um, but again, hearing health is not something we've talked about a lot as a, as a country or as a culture. So there's a lot for folks to learn, and the industry has an opportunity to help teach and coach along the way. Similarly, there are folks for whom you know, a more traditional prescription fit hearing aid is still going to be their best solution. And so I think as an industry, part of what we need to do is help people understand that process of decisioning and understand you know, if they really are going to be a candidate for an over-the-counter product, or if they're really going to be best served with more of a full service approach. Very interesting. And the advantages you feel that you'll have in, in this market, if you can want to tick off a couple of those for us? Absolutely. Well, Lucid Hearing is uniquely positioned for the over-the-counter market because we've already been partnering with retail companies for our entire existence. So we operate uh, hearing aid centers in Sam's Club locations, among others, kind of a store within a store. So we're well-versed in, in understanding how retail shoppers work. We've got products that are designed specifically for that over-the-counter space based on our history and based on our work in the clinics over the years. Uh, we've got in the uh, entry-level price points, we've got some really fantastic products that are based on uh, truly decades hearing research. And our upper-end products actually take in the benefit of the data that we've been able to collect over all of these years. And we tuned our over-the-counter hearing aids to be based on what we've seen with real-life customers in the real world. So we did a, a machine learning, learning and cluster analysis study with a major audiological research university, and we actually used close to 100,000 audiograms to design the acoustics 
for our over-the-counter hearing aids. We feel like it's going to be a really great out-of-the-box experience for folks who use our Engage and Feel products. For more information, where can people go? Please go to lucidhearing.com. You can also go to engagehears.com and feohears.com for information on those two products I just mentioned. Terrific. Lots to look forward to. Bennett Griffin, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you. It's been my pleasure.